Hello, in this video you are going to learn how to create an approval workflow for an existing list on SharePoint. Earlier we created this list, a list for employee leave request. To learn how to create a custom list on SharePoint, you can see the tutorial video listed in the description below. Now to follow up with these requests we need a workflow to send notifications for the employee and the manager as well, and update the request status upon the decisions. To create a workflow, you need either a SharePoint designer or to use a special tool to design workflows, which are many. We are going to work with Spark Workflow to design this workflow. Spark Workflow is a very user-friendly tool and has many advanced features that are not found in SharePoint Designer nor many other tools, and also you don't need to write any code while creating the workflow as you will see in this tutorial. Now let's start creating the workflow, through Spark Workflow Designer. As you see here in our list there is a link to manage Spark Workflow, you will find this link in every single list or library on your SharePoint, so, from here, the workflow that we are going to be created is linked to the list without any configuration from our side. Click on Manage Spark Workflows. Here is the Spark Workflow landing page. From here we are going to select New List Workflow. Now the Spark Workflow Designer is open and we have two nodes as we see the Start node and the End node. In the beginning, we are going to set the workflow settings like enter the workflow name in the description. As you see here we have many options like start when the item is created or updated, in this case, we are going to focus on just starting when the item is created. Add custom workflow status we are going to add our options approve and reject, and if you have any other you can add them. then save. The first thing we going to do in our workflow is to send an email notification for the leave requester or the initiator, so now we are going to drag and drop the notification activity and configure it. We are going to add the activity title which is send initiator receipt, and then define to whom this notification is going, by selecting the initiator from the dynamic data list so dynamically it retrieves the initiator's email. adding the subject and then the body. In the body, we are going to write our message and add the item URL so the employee can follow up his request easily. From the dynamic data list, select workflow status URL. Change the URL display text to status. save. And here we are, the first notification is ready. The second thing in our workflow is to make a decision, so now we are going to drag and drop the request approval activity and configure it. Add the title of the activity. Then assign to, here we need to select the manager dynamically depending on each request and what is already saved in the item so we go to the item fields and select the manager field. Allow Delegate, in some cases the manager needs to delegate the task for another employee to make the decision, so to allow or not it depends on your workflow case. Here we are going to enable Allow Delegation. As you see here the Lazy Approval feature. This feature allows you to make the decision by replay to the notification email, without access to the system. The decision can be made either from your system the SharePoint or by email, we are going to show you both ways to see the difference. We will talk about lazy approval in detail later in this video, but now let us first learn how to make the decision from SharePoint, so we are going to disable the lazy approval. Add the task name and task description, we recommend filling these fields with clear and detailed data so the employee can easily follow up his tasks later on. Task due date, from here the admin who create the workflow give this task due date, so the manager should make a decision within one day or two day etc. In our case we are going to set it for one day. Save. And here we have our approval request node we are going now to continue the workflow steps if we have a reject case or approval. Now we are going to work in case the manager rejects the request so we are going to make two actions. First, send an email notification to the initiator. Second, 
Update the request status. Again, we are going to use the notification activity to send a rejection email notification for the initiator. While we configure it, we are going to learn how to set dynamic variables in the email. Add the activity title, leave denied. 2. Again we are going to set the initiator by selecting the initiator from the dynamic data list so dynamically it retrieves the initiator's email. Subject. Here we can make the subject dynamic, by typing the initiator display name and adding some static words like leave request so we select form dynamic data list initiator display name and then type leave request. In the body we can also specify the message by adding the initiator display name after hi. save and here we are done with the reject email notification the second action is to update the status of the request so we are going to use set workflow status activity and configure it from the set workflow window select the status to be in this case reject modify the title and save now the workflow goes to the HR department to make a decision so again we are going to use the request approval activity and configure it. So as we did in the previous request approval, we fill the required fields but here here we are going to make the decision by the lazy approval feature. Again this great feature available in Spark workflow, which can activate easily so the manager or the HR can make the decision by email with no need to access the system. So we enable the lazy approval, the fill the task name, task due date. Now after we enabled the lazy approval feature, the system updates automatically the email notification. As we see here in the notification window it comes with two links, one for approval and the other for reject. So the manager or the HR employee can just click on the link and reply with a comment and that's it. The decision is done. The system also retrieves a wizard text for the subject and the body. You can change the text if you wish. Let's save. The next step is adding two email notifications, one for the reject and one for the approval. For the approval email notification as we did it before, type the title, leave approve, to, initiator, subject initiator display name and leave approve and the body the save. The same for the reject email notification. Now we are going to update the status of the request. So we are going to use set workflow status activity and configure it. From the set workflow window select the status to be in this case approve. Modify the title and save. And the same for the rejected cause. And here we are we have finished the workflow so we are going to publish it to be ready to use. Now let's return to our list add a new request item and see how our workflow works. Click on new. Fill up the fields. And here we are, we have a new item request. At first, the status will be in progress, meanwhile, two email notifications were fired. One for the initiator to inform him or her that the leave request has been received as we see here the email also has a URL for the item so the employee can flow up the request status. The other email notification for the manager with a new decision task. As we see here, by clicking on approval task, the workflow status window will open, and from here we are going to make the decision. Select Manager Approval which is the task title. And here we write down our comments and make the decision, in this case, is rejected. See how the status field is updated to reject, and also the initiator received a reject email notification. If we come back to our list here are our items and the status. As we can see here, this list has all the requests, we can set permissions on it, so each employee can see only his requests and the manager can see also the requests that he has permissions on it, and so on. If you want more details about permissions, you can see the tutorial video listed in the description below.
Now we are going to add another request item to see how the lazy approval works. In this scenario the manager is going to approve so the workflow goes to the HR department to make approved decision. Click on new. Fill up the fields. And here we are, we have a new item request. The manager is going to approve this request from the system as we see before. After approval, the system fires email notification to the HR department. Because we have enabled the lazy approval for this notification the HR employee received this email. See here new section for lazy approval decision. Just click on approval and write down your comment and reply and all done. Great. Let's go back to our list we see here the all the items each with its status are updated and also the initiator received an approval email notification. If you want more details about the lazy approval feature, you can see the tutorial video for lazy approval and details listed in the description below. This is how we create a workflow for a list in SharePoint. Follow us to learn more on how to set permissions to this list, and also how to make a special design for this list and much more. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and if you have a comment please write it down. Thank you.